Did you download the new macaroni blaster on your phone? No, I tried to, but I couldn't get the game on this. Oh, man. My phone is kind of old, and I'm not getting a new one until Christmas. You have to try it, though. The whole school's playing. But, but that's okay. You can use my phone. Nice. Thanks. Uh -huh. Where is that Jimmy? Have either of you talked to him today? No, nope, not today. Oh, macaroni. Mm -hmm. Jimmy to the bus. Jimmy to the bus. You got less than one minute and then we're leaving without you. I'm coming. Hold on. Five, four, three. <gasps> Made it. And with time to spare. So question, if hypothetically I was to miss the bus, does that mean I would get to stay home and play video games all day? Have a seat, Jimmy. <sighs> hey, Ellie, Casey. Happy first day of school. Barf. <sighs> but on the bright side, at least we get to play Macaroni Blaster at recess. Oh my gosh, is everyone playing this except me? Oh, hey, Jimmy, what level did you get up to? Well, I don't want to brag or anything, but I made it up to level 87 yesterday. Yep, looks like I'm the best player in the school. <laughs> level 87? <laughs> what a noob. Last night, I got up to level 96. <laughs> Read it in week. 96? Oh, no way. Macaroni blast off right now. Oh, you are so on. Ready, set, go. I'm never going to catch up at this point. Yuck, why is my phone so old? What am I going to do when the whole class is playing Macaroni Blaster? Except me. Blast, blast. Oh, don't worry, Ellie. Your phone's not that old. Yeah, I'm sure in a couple weeks your app store will have it and everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I guess it's okay. Ellie, look at that. We have the same kind of phone. We're phone twins. Mm. Uh, could you teach me how to do one of those texts? Uh, Co Coach Rocco, not such a good idea. Mm. Oh! I can't show up to class with this old phone, everyone. I can't go to school today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ellie, 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 wait. Oh, no. Oh, great going, Coach Rocco. You just had to do the phone twins thing. But I thought phone twins was lit. It's just not what she wants to hear right now. All right, everyone. If you want to help us get Ellie back for the first day of school, give us a big thumbs up. <gasps> I'm going to find her first. No, I'm your wife. <laughs> hey, get back here, Jimmy. I always thought phone twins was groovy. Can you dig it? Ellie! Oh, come on, Ellie, come on out. We were just kidding about Macaroni Blaster. It's not that amazingly fun. Yeah, and honestly, I'd beat Ginny so many times at this point, I'm pretty much over it. Beat me? You've never beaten me once in Macaroni like Blaster. Beat me like five times this morning. My score's that. way more, you know what? <laughs> we are just going to have to have another blast off later. For now, we have to focus on finding Ellie. All right, you're right. Okay, I'm gonna look for Ellie here by the pool. And you can look for her wherever, I don't care, over there. Fine. Oh, so you get to go look by the pool, how convenient. Huh. Well, I'm gonna find her first. Wait a minute, what do we have here? Two tenths, ha, jackpot. I'm so gonna find Ellie first. Ellie, I know you're in there. It's just a matter of which one. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a tiger by his toe. Ellie needs a new phone and you are here. Ha! Ready or not, here comes Casey. Ah. Oh, come on, Ellie, where are you? I'll let you play an extra round of Pizza Blaster on my phone. Uh, hello? Oh, hey, Casey, this is Jimmy. Casey didn't know. Uh, I'm at the pool, by the way, and I'm thinking about doing some underwater spinneroonies. Jimmy, I told you not to get in the pool! We were supposed to be looking for Ellie! Oh yeah, about that. Uh, well, if you don't want to go to the pool with me, I guess I'll just jump in all by myself. <laughs> See ya! Oh, you are so done when I find you. Ellie! Did you go in for a dip? Oh, glad to see you are having so much fun while I'm looking all over the place for Ellie. What do you mean? I'm looking for her too. Oh yeah, so doing underwater spin counts as looking for Ellie? <laughs> you are so hilarious. Underwater spin 
great idea. But no, I wasn't swimming. Do I even look wet to you? But you just had your face in the water. Well, I wasn't actually swimming. I was just looking at you. That still counts as getting in the pool. I told I you not to do that. I, We're supposed I, to are you Ellie? two squabbling again? Aren't you supposed to be looking for Ellie? I was looking for Ellie, but then Casey came in talking about underwater spinneroonies, which I'm totally going to try, by oh, the way. Da, da, da. Underwater spinneroonies was my idea, so I get to try it first. Oh, after we find Ellie. Well, if you're looking for Ellie, she's over there running away. Come on. Oh. Ellie! This searching for Ellie's making me hungry. Phew! They won't suspect me in here. Finally, I get some time to relax and think about my next plan. Oh, can't run away forever. Go, Draco! Coach! Oh no! Jimmy and Casey are here! How do they find me? Think, Ellie! Think! What do I do? What do I do? Hey, come out, coach. We have a question. Yeah, can you settle this for us? <sighs> coach, can you open up? We need you to settle something. Coach, can you come out here and please tell Casey that I have won the spookiest Halloween costume four years in a row? You were a baby butterfly last Halloween. How on earth is that supposed to be scary? I was not a butterfly. I was a vampire. Coach, get out here. Oh, well, howdy there, kids. I was just cleaning the bus in there. You sure do know how to leave a big mess behind. <laughs> uh, Coach, you look a little weird. Stop changing the subject, Casey. Coach, can you please tell Casey that I was a spooky vampire for Halloween last year? A uh, vampire? I thought you were a fluttering baby butterfly. Ha <laughs> ha see, I told you. I give up. <laughs> I guess nobody knows what a vampire looks like anymore in this crazy, crazy world. You know, with the fangs and the cape and the spooky makeup. Oh, hey, Coach, have you seen Ellie anywhere? We've been looking everywhere. Oh, uh, Ellie, no, no, I haven't seen her at all. Um, but, uh, oh, I have a perfect idea. In order to get Ellie back, we've got to clean the bus. Clean the bus? How is cleaning going to help us get Ellie back? Well, well, of, of course, who could resist the spotless bus? As soon as we scrub this baby clean, she won't be able to resist coming back here and going back to school. Oh, man, a scrubbing contest? I am so in. You're going down, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, is that so? Well, ready, set, go. You're on. <laughs> 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 ah, Coach Rocco. Coach Rocco? Coach Rocco? But... I'm Coach Rocco. There's two Coach Roccos? Don't tell me there's two Jimmies, too. Okay, fine, you got me. <sighs> it's me, Ellie. Ellie Sparkles. Now, why have you been hiding all this time? And why don't you want to go to school? That's not like you. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling fine. It's just I'm embarrassed to be the only person at school without the newest and coolest phone. And everyone at recess is going to be playing Macaroni Blaster while I'm just going to be standing there doing nothing. Everyone will think that I'm super weird. Weird? <laughs> Ellie Sparkles weird? Now, I could be a little weird, but you? No, you're funny, yes. Smart, yes. You're good at gym, yes. But weird? Nope. You really think so? I know so. And I also know that your friends are not going to like you less because of the type of phone you have. I mean, do you like Jimmy for the type of sneakers he has? No. I mean, I've never even seen Jimmy's sneakers. I like Jimmy because he's, well, Jimmy. I know, exactly. You know what? That makes total sense, Coach. You're so right. <laughs> so what do you say we hop on the bus and start the day all over again? You know what? Let's do this. First day of school. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh.
Ellie, you're back, and just in time to see me win the scrubbing contest. Oh, no way. Jimmy, look, your basketball's rolling away. Ha! <laughs> huh, I've been duped. <laughs> we ready to go to school, you guys? <laughs> yes, give us like 10 minutes, okay? <laughs> I gotta beat Jimmy first. Gotta get those hard to reach places. <laughs> oh, come on, get on the bus, we gotta go. We're gonna be late. All aboard. Okay, kids, we're here. Everybody off the bus. Perfect. I just got down my book for English. Wait, what? We just got assigned that book today. You're already done? What? It was a really good book. And speak for yourself, Casey. I see that you're working on our science project already. <laughs> yeah, but that's only because I have the greatest idea ever for a science project. Ready? Ready, ready. Slime, cake, glitter volcano. Slime, <laughs> cake, glitter volcano. Those are like four of my favorite things. Exactly. We are bound to get an A plus on this. Oh, and Jimmy already has all the supplies in his backpack. Oh, isn't that right, Jimmy? Uh, Jimmy. Earth to Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, wake up. Coach Rocco, I think we're gonna need your help. He's stuck in La La Land again. Oh, yep, looks like Mr. Sleepyhead's nodded off. All right, you know the drill, cover your ears. Mr. Sleepyhead, time to wake up, we're here. Ah, you spooky monsters, you stay away from Jimmy Jr. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Mr. Sleepyhead was in the middle of a dream. Sorry to interrupt all the fun, but we're here, time to get off the bus. So, exactly who is this Jimmy Jr. you're dreaming about? <laughs> LOL, Casey, very funny, but I don't have time for this. I have big after-school plans. I'm gonna hit the basketball court, do some spinneroonies. You two are welcome to join. Not before we finish our science project, Jimmy. Oh no, not the science project. <laughs> okay, Sparkle Squad, if you wanna see us make this slime cake glitter volcano, give me a big thumbs up. Oh, and by the way, Casey, Jimmy Jr. is his basketball. <laughs> Welcome to Casa Ellie. Oh my goodness, Ellie, your room is perfect for indoor soccer. Yeah, soccer. Sounds good. Anything but science. Oh, it's not going to be that bad. This project is going to be over in a breeze. Let me just check out this checklist. So, have we got pens and paper? Uh, check. Perfect. Have we got a calculator? Check. Project members? Check, check. Uh, kinda. Jimmy, wake up! And experiment supplies. Slime, cake, and glitter. <laughs> Jimmy, hey, supplies! That's you! Uh, you leave Jimmy Jr. alone, you monsters! He's just a baby! So, Jimmy, have you got the experiment supplies that you said you were gonna get? Oh, yeah, yeah, those. Not to worry, I got them right here in my book bag. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, one small hiccup. I think I left my book bag on the old bus -a rooney Jimmy, you had one job! It's okay. I'm gonna go on the bus and get the book bag. You two can stay here and keep arguing. I'm gonna go on my own little adventure. Ha-ha! <laughs> Score! Oh, all right. School bus is still here. Check one complete. Oh, sweet! A soccer ball! Oh man, Ellie and Jimmy are gonna be so happy to have a friend like me. They're gonna be like, oh Casey, you're so smart and awesome and good at getting backpacks off of buses and solving problems. Casey, Casey, come on. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Coach Rocco. Coach Rocco, can you let me in? I gotta get something. <sighs> Thanks, Coach. I... Wait, Coach? Coach Rocco? Oh, well, I don't see him anywhere. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to look by myself. Nothing to worry about. I got my trusty soccer ball here. Whew, I'm gonna be just fine. <clears throat> got this. <gasps> what was that? Oh, you know what? It was the wind. Or the birds. <laughs> oh, or the bus engine, duh. Oh wait, the bus isn't even running. <gasps> oh no, it's a monster! Ellie, help! Ah, monster! 
I'm just saying, Super Spinneroonies is the perfect science experiment. Yeah, but we did that last year, remember? Oh well, yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It was broke, we got an F. Hmm. <laughs> Guys, monster, bus, big, loud. Okay, Casey, slow down, slow down. Take a deep breath. What happened? Okay, I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure, that there is a big monster on that bus right now. Monster on the bus? What did it look like? Was it green? I don't really know, but it just made this big, loud sound that could have only been a monster. It kind of went like this. So I can't even do it without getting scared. Ah, uh, okay. So what you're dealing with is your classic bus monster Rooney. They're commonly sighted around these parts, but they're really nothing to worry about as long as you take the proper precautions. Okay, don't listen to him, all right? It's just probably something else entirely. I don't think it's a monster at all. I know for a fact it's a monster, and I can prove it. I'll go out there right now and get our bag back. No, 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 Jimmy, don't do it! <sighs> don't worry, Casey. Believe me, I've been around the block a few times. I know how to handle these monsters. And I'm off to sing the day. Oh, well, this will be very interesting. You want to go get a pair of binoculars? Sure. Mm -hmm. Monster schmonster. I just thought of an amazing plan. All I have to do is pretend that there's an actual monster on the bus. That way, I can tell Ellie and Casey that the monster ate my backpack. And voila, no more science project for Jim Rooney. Ha <laughs> ha. Jimmy, sometimes I forget what a genius you are. All right, time to act scared. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so sc 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 scared. Oh, Ellie, Casey, wish me luck on my dangerous journey. I hope I make it back alive. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You know, for a fake monster, that sure sounded an awful lot like a real monster. <laughs> Definitely a real monster. I'm out of here. Monster, bus, it's real, it's scary. Jimmy, did you really see a monster on the bus? Yeah, I saw a monster on the bus and it was huge. Definitely big enough to eat both me and Jimmy Jr. Oh, I should never have doubted you two. Oh, we're done for. See, I told you there was a monster out there. But guys, you really need the science project materials. Are you nuts? Unless your project is who can get eaten the fastest, then we are done with projects today. I guess I'm just gonna have to go see this for myself. Wait, what? Yep. And if there is a monster, I'm sure it'll be nice enough to let us take what we need and leave in peace. But there's no such thing as monsters anyway, you guys. I'll prove it to you. Oh, Ellie. Oh. Ellie, no. Don't do it. All right, Sparkles, you got this. Just put on your bright and sparkly Sparkles charm. Put on a cheery smile and say, hello, Mr. Monster, or Miss Monster. How do you do today? Oh, I love what you're wearing. It's so cute. Oh, and your monster teeth are so shiny. What toothpaste do you use? Oh, by the way, my friend Jimmy <laughs> might have left an eensy teensy little backpack in the back of the school bus, and we were hoping that we could get it back. So if you could please give it to us and we would thank you so very much oh you guys what are you doing here we came to give you oh, our support what i thought we were telling her to stop jimmy oh uh, all right well obviously you can't go on the bus alone so we figured that maybe you'd need some of that uh jimmy and casey magic and that together we could get that backpack back pack back pack back get the stuff back Guys, that is so sweet and super surprising of you. <laughs> awesome, with the three of us, the monster can't possibly resist our charms. Let's go in together. Just what to do about this. 
Wake up, sleepyhead! I'm awake, I'm awake, I'll drive you to school. <laughs> Coach Rocco, you were asleep. Oh, well, after substituting math and driving the bus and teaching gym and lunch, Coach Rocco gets a little uh, tired, so I needed my nappy time. We should have known. There's no monster in the world that could make a sound as big and loud as Coach Rocco snoring. You know, I'm gonna start calling you Coach Sleepyhead from now on, if that's all right with you. Coach Sleepyhead? No way. If I was to change my name, I would change my name to Bartholomew Wiggins. Now that's a respectable name. Jenny, hurry up. Come on, get out here. Coming, coming, Ellie. Whew. Today is best friends day at school, and you know what that means. Everyone's gonna be asking Ginny to be his BFF. But I got a big surprise for Ellie, because I've decided to choose her as my BFF. Oh boy, won't she be surprised. I can't wait to tell her the good news. Yes, goal! Nice, Casey. Thanks, Ellie. Wow, we make a really great soccer team, don't we? Yeah, we're doing so well that I think that we should call our team the Goal Squad. <laughs> May I introduce you, Ellie and Casey, the Goal Squad. <laughs> um, what exactly is going on here? Oh, nothing, Jenny. Ellie and I just created a whole new gaming team, that's all. Gaming team? Ugh, well, never mind that. Ellie, I have big exciting news. Oh, Ellie, Ellie, check your phone. I just sent you these new uniforms. They're awesome. <gasps> Ooh, new uniforms. Jimmy, take out your phone and join our team. Oh, well, normally I'd take you up on that offer, but I think if I did, my teammates would be pretty mad at me. You know, I got my own team. It stars me as the captain, of course. And then other than that, it's, um... Hey, Jimmy, are y'all ready for BFF day today? Uh, Casey and Ellie are sure in the spirit. <laughs> Ooh, is that the new soccer game everybody's talking about? Why don't you sit up front here and explain the rules to me on the way to school? Come on! No. <laughs> Oh yeah, the goal squad's still totally undefeated. <laughs> oh, I'm Casey and I'm so good at soccer. Goal squad forever. Ugh. That's it. Time to begin Operation Win Ellie Back for Best Friends Day. Ugh, I need to work on that title. Ellie thinks that Casey's a good BFF. Just wait till she sees what I have in store. <clears throat> Attention! Free ice cream in the school cafeteria! <laughs> All interested parties report to the cafeteria for free ice cream! Oh no way! Free ice cream? Hey, I'll grab you two. Two? Yeah, why not? <laughs> she bought it! And so the game begins. <laughs> ah, time for my favorite class of the day, science. Science class? Wait a second, Jimmy. I thought that your favorite class was gym class. Science is my favorite. Oh, wow. Your favorite subject is science, too? What a crazy coinky dink. Uh, Jimmy Casey was sitting over there. So, science buddy, tell me your favorite science-y thing. Well, I really love the solar system because I love learning about the planets and the moons and the stars. There's so many cool things about our universe that we can't even fathom. And oh, there's also this planet that's got like rings around it. Rings? Oh, now you're speaking my language. I love rings. You know, every time I go to a restaurant, I always order onion rings instead of french fries. Every single time. Mm -hmm. It's so good to talk about all this science stuff with someone that actually gets it. Oh yeah, science the onion rings. I wasn't talking about onion rings, I was talking about planet rings, Jimmy. Like, hey, you know, what? I was thinking, since we're both such big science heads, what do you say that you and I team up for the upcoming big science project? We'll call our team the Ring Squad. Ring Squad? I don't know, Jimmy. Last time we did a project together, I did all the work while you just did spin a Rooney. Well, yeah, we got an A+, plus, so... <laughs> well, somebody there is a big liar because there is no free ice cream anywhere. Oh, hey, Casey. So nice of you to join us. I was just talking to Ellie about how awesome our Best Friends Day is going to be. <laughs> okay, listen here. I see what you're doing, and just know it's not going to work. Ellie and I have an unbreakable bond as a goalie squad, and you can never break a soccer bond. Wait a second, what are we talking about best 
Friends Day? Well, apparently you haven't heard of a solar system appreciation bond because that's way stronger than whatever you're talking about. <laughs> okay, we'll see about that. You don't even want to know. Super long. I just want to sit in the back and, you know, take a well-deserved break. Yeah, why don't you have a seat? We'll be leaving soon. Phew! Finally, some time to myself. No Jimmy, no Casey, no Best Friends Day. Just me, myself, and I. Oh, it's way better than a dream. We've decided that you need to choose between me and Casey for who's going to be your best friend for the day. Oh, but, 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 we're going to make it even easier for you. We're each going to give you five reasons why we should be your BFF. Guys, guys, guys! Why isn't it enough that maybe the both of you are my best friend? Please! Come on, please! Zoe, come on, you got to pick. Fine, it will make all this silliness end then. So be it. Go on. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go first. There we go. Five reasons why Casey should be your VFF. What? No fair. I didn't know we could use posters. Oh, would you look at that? Jimmy's unprepared again. Anyway, who cares? So, reason number one. <clears throat> Clothing swap. Okay, so see how my favorite color is purple, but your favorite color is pink? We could totally switch clothes. You could totally wear this cardigan. You'd rock it. Oh, you know what? That is a very, very intriguing offer. Oh, is this made out of cashmere? Oh, but Ellie, um, you'd also look great in uh, orange and uh, blue. My two favorite colors. Here, uh, try on my hat. Yeah, yeah, you look really, really good in it, Ellie. Ha, huh, that's what I call fashion. Uh, thanks, Jimmy. And also, you know how you're, like, super into science? I was thinking maybe we should do more of those solar system projects, you know? And don't worry about the snacks. I already got it covered. <laughs> Beat that sucker girl. Uh, but, well, well, but, but if you're friends with me, um, I have squishmallows. Oh, that are also oh, pink. But, your favorite but, color. But I pizza, <laughs> need I, need I okay, remind you? Okay, 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 guys. You know, I am so flattered you both want to be my best friend. But, uh, I just, you know. All right, everybody, we're about to head off, so buckle up. You know what? I think I've decided on who my best friend is. It's, uh, it's, uh, Coach Rocco. What? What? What an honor! <laughs> well, since we're best friends, could you help me upload the apps on my phone? Oh, here? Coach, I don't think that you can download any apps on that phone. Oh, just have a look there. Press that button. Wait a second. If Ellie and Coach Rocco are best friends now, does that mean. Does that mean Jimmy's my best friend? Oh, no. Uh, I have to share my pizza with you? Not if it has any pineapple on it. Ugh. Wait, you also don't like pineapple on your pizza? Yeah, it's disgusting. But the only thing worse than pineapple is anchovies. anchovies. Wait a second. I'm starting to like your pizza style. Maybe this BFF thing is going to work out. Yeah, you know what? I think I can give it a try. Hey, since you're like totally into science now, do you want to do a project on <gasps> dinosaurs? You like dinosaurs too? Get yeah. out of here. <laughs> oh, I got to show you this super awesome picture I took of a stegosaurus. Oh, okay, or a gecko in your backyard, but it's still super cool. Jimmy, where is it? Ew, gross. Did you find the remote control yet? No, nope, not yet. Jimmy, how do you live in here? It's really gross. Did you check the pizza box? Why would I check the pizza box? Found it! Leave it to Ellie Sparkles to miss the most obvious place to look. Here's a little tip of advice. If you keep the remote in the pizza box, you'll never lose it again. Plus, bonus, pepperoni. Ew, gross, Jimmy. How old is that pepperoni? And how much stuff do you have in here that you need to clean up? 
What? What are you talking about? I have everything I could possibly need in this room. Pizza. Check. Basketball. Check. Life-size cutout of meat. Check. This room is perfect and it simply cannot be improved upon. I don't know about that, Jimmy. Well, I do know about oh, that. Oh, yeah? So, yeah, I guess. Well, take a look at my room. Mess, this is really are you guys fighting over your rooms again? No. Yes. Jimmy's room is really gross and I don't want to spend another second in here. Yeah, well, who's stopping you? The door is right there. I think this is the perfect time for my new challenge. It's time for you two to learn how the other side lives. It's the Switch Bedrooms Challenge. Switch Bedrooms? With her? No way. Uh-oh, I don't think so. The challenge begins now. Now, now, now. Jimmy, don't you jump on my bed with those disgusting sneakers. Hello? Well, it appears that I am finally in Princess Ellie's room, the most magical, whimsical place on Earth. Let's do a little grand tour of Rooney, shall we? Ugh, it's so bright and colorful in here. There's no mess, there's no clutter at all. How does she live like this? <laughs> she doesn't even have a pizza box for her remote control. What a new move. Ah, what should I do first? Ugh, there's all these pillows on the bed. You can't even rest on the bed. Ugh, let's do something about that. Ah, now to give this bed a little bounce test. Ah, haha, <laughs> Ellie, I'm bouncing on your bed and I didn't even take my sneakers off. I'm not taking my sneakers off. I'm in Ellie's room what? now. Oh, you better be lying, Jimmy. I'm coming in there. Hold on, Ellie. If you leave the room, you lose the challenge. But Jimmy, his shoes are on my bed. You don't want to lose the Jimmy now, do you? Well, that's true. Jimmy, you're so lucky that Coach Rocco stopped me from getting in there. Now, come on, relax. You can do that. Take a deep breath. You've got all day. You can make this room your own. Come on, you can do it. Remember, deep breaths. Deep breaths. I can make this room my own. I just got to clean it up a little bit. Right, Sparkle Square? Deep breaths. <sighs> Jimmy, I'm cleaning up all the garbage in your room. You're welcome. Also, why do you have so many banana peels in here? What? No, don't touch my banana peels. I'm saving those for my Christmas presents. Ha, <laughs> too late. No. Ellie, all right, all right. So that's how you want to do it, huh? You want to play games? Well, game on. Ellie versus Jimmy, let's do this. Ah, what can I do to make Ellie really, really mad? Ah, there's not even anything in this room for me to mess up. All there is are those YouTube play buttons that Ellie's always bragging about. Oh, I'm Ellie Sparkles and I have millions of subscribers. Well, big deal. I have a YouTube channel too, you know, and I have eight subscribers. Ha! Eight subscribers, that's all? I gotta get those numbers up. Ooh, maybe there's a quick way that I can do just that. And done. Voila! One million subscribers. I've gone viral. Wait till Ellie gets a load of this. Oh, Ellie, guess who just hit one million subs? Might want to check your phone. Oh, I got a DM from Jimmy. <gasps> Jimmy! That's my play button! I earned that! Unlike you and your five subscribers! Hey! No, I have eight subscribers! Count them eight! <laughs> Shoot her! What are eight subscribers thinking of going on to Jimmy's channel? All it is is him going, Hey, Jimmaroonies, it's me, Jimmy! Do you want to learn how to do the spin Rooney? Woo, 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 woo! Whoops, I missed my shot again! <laughs> <sighs> deep breath, Ellie, deep breath. Okay, time to make this place my own. Happy Ellie. All right, first of all, let's get rid of you. Sorry, Jimmy. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> now for some plants. E for Ellie. Let's get rid of this. And that. 
And last but not least, where can we put these clothes? Oh, I have the perfect idea. <laughs> Jimmy will love this. Real basketballs in here? Come on, Ellie's gotta have one. Everyone's room does. Maybe in here? Oh, huh. dolls? I didn't know Ellie had these. Well, this one's kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of my favorite teddy bear, Mr. Snuggles. Hello there, Ellie Sparkles. It's nice to be in your room. You actually have a pretty cool room after all. Oh, why, thank you, Mr. Man. I didn't know that I'd be entertaining guests today. Yeah, I think I might stick around in this room for a while, if that's okay with you. Of course, any time. Perhaps later we can have a tea party. Yeah, well, I don't really like tea parties, but I suppose that's all right. How about a basketball tournament? Hmm, I don't really like basketball, except when I play with my good friend Jimmy, because he is the best basketball player in the whole school, you know. Oh, yeah, Jimmy is totally awesome. In fact, I think he might be the cutest kid in school. <sighs> There, much better. Making Jimmy's room my own was a great piece of advice. I just have one more corner to go before I'm all done. <laughs> What's this? A ukulele, my favorite. I didn't know Jimmy was taking lessons. I guess you learn something new every day. <laughs> now what should I play? Hmm, I know a song. And then my 300th favorite thing about Jimmy is that he always... Huh, what's that sound? It sounds like a ukulele. It is a ukulele. Hey, Ellie, can you play that trick-or-treat song that we sung on Halloween? Sure thing, Jimmy. Oh, boy. You guys are going to love this one. It was a big hit in its day. Trick-or-treat, smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Trick-or-treat, it's so neat. Give me something good to eat. And it's totally awesome! Oh, yeah! Wow, I'm glad you brought the ukulele. You know, I've been meaning to take lessons. Lessons? Awesome! I could totally give you lessons. I'll give you a quick pointer right now. Hey guys, what's going on? Did somebody lose the challenge yet? Not really, actually. We're really enjoying each other's rooms. Yeah, did you know that Ellie's bedroom has the perfect setup for indoor basketball? Yeah, and did you know that Jimmy is interested in learning ukulele? <laughs> wow, you see, that was the point of the challenge, seeing somebody else's perspective. Oh. And since it was such a success, I'm thinking we could switch other things. Like maybe we switch um, Santa Claus with the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Or, uh, pumpkins for Valentine's. <laughs> or, leprechauns for the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> oh, no, 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 we can't do that. No, no, no. When I was a kid, you know, someone told me that it was the leprechauns that came and took your teeth in the night. But no, it was the Tooth Fairy. And here we go. Two treats for Dr. Ellie and two treats for Officer Casey. <laughs> Great costumes, you two. I know you're gonna get lots of candy today. Thanks, Coach Rocco. Happy Halloween. Our costumes are so cool, Casey. We're gonna get so much candy, maybe enough to last us till next Halloween. Oh, Jimmy's gonna be so jealous. <laughs> Quick, let's go to the next house before he catches up to us. Wait a second. Why is the school bus still here in the driveway? Yeah, and why are there decorations all over it? <gasps> Do you think that somebody's throwing a Halloween party inside the bus? <gasps> you know what that means? Halloween candy! Woohoo! Let's go! Trick or treat! Anyone in there? Wow, whoever decorated this bus must be so cool. 
Did somebody say super cool? Jimmy? Jimmy? Yep, that's right. It's Count Jimmy, the winner of the scariest costume award. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, Jimmy, why are you in the school bus? Don't you know it's Halloween? <laughs> Do I know it's Halloween, she says. Of course I know it's Halloween. I've already been trick-or-treating to every house on this block. And now that I have a massive stash of candy, I decided to throw a little Halloween party <laughs> just for myself. Oh, wow, so you really are throwing a party in the bus? Awesome! Can we come see? Oh, 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 oh. You know the rules to get invited to a Halloween party, especially a super cool one that's, you know, on the bus. You gotta scare the host. So let's see what you got. Can you scare me? Go on, Ellie. Go on, Casey. Scare me. We can't wait. Uh, boo! <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's actually not really very scary. Oh, come on, Jimmy. You know that's not how trick-or-treating works. Sorry, Doc, but rules are rules. You gotta scare me to get on the bus. And it looks like you two have failed, which is really a shame because you're gonna miss the spooky dance contest. I hear I'm gonna win this year. See you next Halloween. Uh, wait, 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 Jimmy, no. Um, we can dance, Scary. Look, check this out. <laughs> Quick, Ellie, join in. Come on. <laughs> Don't worry, Casey. If Jimmy says that we can only get in by scaring him, then that's just what we'll have to do. Okay, Sparkle Squad, if you want to scare Jimmy on the bus, hit that thumbs up button. Let's do this. All right. Boom! Welcome to Count Jimmy's big Halloween bash on the bus. It's the greatest party ever because just look at the guest list. It's just me. Wow, this is officially my greatest idea ever. I got my vampire costume, I got all the candy I could possibly eat, and I got a whole bus all to myself. Oh, it's beautiful. You know what? I think this calls for my most ambitious Halloween project yet. The Jimmy spin a -rooney with can rooney on the bus a -rooney. Let's see if I can catch them in my mouth. Ugh, close, let's try it again. I'm getting there. All the trick-or-treaters are gone. That means it's leftover candy time. Hey, why is this door locked? And who decorated the bus like this? Hello? Is somebody in there? Hey, Coach Rocco. Happy Halloween. Jimmy, what are you doing in there? This year, I decided to convert the school bus into a party bus. That way I can have the whole place to myself and eat all my Halloween candy in peace. Best Halloween ever. Uh, but I was supposed to enjoy my candy in there. I take all the unwanted candy and enjoy it in peace on the bus. Oh, well, great minds think alike, I guess. I see you also decided to dress as a vampire, just like me. That's a pretty good costume. Not quite as good as mine, but what is? Jimmy, let me on this bus. I want to enjoy this candy. Sorry, Coach Rocco, but you know the rules. To get invited to a Halloween bus party, you have to scare the host of the party. So go on, Coach Rocco. Give it a try. Scare me. Oh, scare you, you say? <laughs> that should be easy. Let me get into my vampire mode. Ooh, I'm a vampire, and I lurk in the shadows. <laughs> Coach Rocco, that has to be one of the worst vampires I've ever seen in my life. It's laughable. I'm afraid I just can't let you on this bus. Jimmy, let me onto this bus. Ah, vampire! Look at him go. That's why Jimmy has been the scariest costume winner in school five years in a row. Best Halloween ever. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs>
cannot believe we can't find a costume spooky enough to scare Jimmy. I totally thought the pirates were gonna get him. Yeah, me too. Usually Jimmy's super scared all the time. Like all you have to do is go boo and he hides under his desk. I mean, come on, we gotta think of something. Hey, there you are. Scale of one to 10, how spooky is my costume? <laughs> let me guess, Jimmy didn't let you on the Halloween bus either. No, I just wanted to enjoy my candy, but I tell you, next Halloween, Jimmy's not going near that bus. <laughs> hey, Coach, do you by any chance know when the last time Jimmy got scared was? Oh, well, now that I think about it, about a week ago, Jimmy was outside playing basketball. He's about to do a spin a rooney when suddenly he screams out and runs inside so fast it was like a blur. He thought he saw a bee. So Jimmy's scared of bees? Interesting. Ugh. Honestly, so am I kind of. You know how they make that sound of bees? Well, I have a great idea. Casey, come with me. Thanks, Coach. This is a big help. <laughs> Ah, Halloween's almost over and nobody's been able to scare me. Guess it's safe to say that Count Jimmy really is the king of Halloween. What's that? More knocking? Ugh, trick-or-treaters at this hour? It never ends. Um, hello? <clears throat> Hi, sir. Do you happen to be the owner of this here school bus? Well, for tonight, yes. Yes, I am the owner of this bus. And who might you two be? Oh, a couple of astronauts, I'm guessing, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I got news for you. Astronauts are not scary. You're not getting in. Um, we're not astronauts. In fact, we are beekeepers, and we just got a call to inspect the school bus. Inspect it for bees. You wouldn't happen to have any bees on board, would you? Wait a second. You're saying that there might be bees inside the bus? Oh, I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. As long as you don't have anything that might attract bees. Now let's see here. They love sweet stuff, like honey or soda or their all-time favorite, candy. You wouldn't happen to have any candy inside, would you? Candy? B -b 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 bees like c -c 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 candy? And I just happen to have the biggest candy stash in the whole school. Oh no! Ah! Bees! I'm out of here! <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Jimmy? I've never seen him run so fast. He almost knocked me over. I know. I used to think I was the fastest runner in school, but Jimmy's got me beat. <laughs> Look, Coach Rocco, are you ready for trick-or-treat candy now? Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I hope there's some candy corn in here. <laughs> hey, Ellie, let's finally go check out the inside of the party bus. Oh, good idea. After you. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Are you ready to play the Halloween Spin the Wheel Challenge? We're going to spin the wheel to see which costumes we're going to wear this year. Casey's going first. Let's do this. Three, two, one, spin! <gasps> it landed on ghosts! Yes! Super easy to make and extra spooky. <laughs> I totally got shot at winning that costume contest this year. Um, excuse me, did you just say costume contest? Because you must know that Jimmy has won the scariest costume contest four years in a row. And this year, I'm going for number five. <laughs> okay, we'll see about that. Okay, Sparkle Squad, if you want to see us make Casey's ghost costume, hit that thumbs up button. <gasps> Let's do this, Casey. All right, see you, Jimmy. Ghost schmost, I got this costume contest down. Easy peasy. Hey, Coach, have you got any good ideas on what we could use for Casey's ghost costume? Oh, a ghost. Uh, well, you could use a tablecloth or you could use uh, toilet paper. But I have to warn you, we're a little bit low on TP. We, we can, can fix, fix that. that. <laughs> Paper, and we didn't really have to look that hard. Where did you find all of that? I hope it's not the last. Oh, I think it's time to put on Casey's ghost costume, right, Casey? Yeah. You can just stand over there and put your arms straight out. 
coach. Here's a couple of toilet paper rolls, and <laughs> we'll just get started on wrapping. Three, two, one, wrap, wrap, wrap. <laughs> You're gonna be the coolest looking ghost. I'm so excited, Jimmy's gonna be so scared. <laughs> Now, I hope this wasn't the last of the toilet paper, Ellie. <laughs> Let's just keep wrapping, shall we? <clears throat> now to put on the finishing touches. All right, that's it. Can you see the ghastly ghost? How are you feeling? <laughs> I feel like I got the scariest costume award on lock. <laughs> now I'm gonna go find Jimmy and spook him. Jimmy, must find Jimmy. We're back at the wheel and this time it's Jimmy's turn. Scariest costume award, here I come. Ready, three, two, one, spin. Cool, it landed on a butterfly. Just look at it, how cute. A colorful fluttering butterfly. Oh no, not a butterfly. I can't be a butterfly. Casey will definitely win the costume contest. Oh, I gotta think of something quick. Oh, uh, hey Ellie, look over there. Huh? Respin. Hey, no respin. And it landed on a superhero. I'm a superhero. I mean, I guess technically it isn't the scariest costume, but nah, I can make it work. This costume award is as good as mine. Thanks, Ellie. Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, have you seen any toilet paper around? I can't find a single roll. Not now, Coach Rocco. We have bigger fish to fry. I need a hero costume. A hero that also happens to be scary. What do you got? Uh, well, I have your Super Jimmy costume right where you left it. Now you need to put things away after you're done and you'll be able to find them. Awesome! Super Jimmy saves the day again. <laughs> but wait a second. Where's my mask? Oh no, my costume isn't complete without my mask. Oh, well, Casey's using your mask now. But look, we have a ton of Halloween masks left over here. I'm sure one of them will work. Come on, let's have a look. Oh, Casey. All right, but one of those masks better be scary. Remember, I need to win the scariest costume award. Huh, well, the problem is, Coach, that this contest is about the scariest costume, not the furriest. Come on, Jimmy, that mask is perfect. Now give me your best spooky Super Jimmy roar. <sighs> I'm Super Jimmy, the scary hero. Ooh, I'm scared already. Now say it again like you mean it. Huh, really? Okay, I'm Super Jimmy, the scary spooky hero. Ah, ah, ah. And I'm here to save and scare the day. You know what, Coach? I think you might be right. I can make this work. Let's go scare somebody. I really need a hobby. Last but definitely not least, it's my turn to pick out a costume. I'm so ready for this. Three, two, one, spin! Ooh, it landed on a witch! Awesome! That costume is super spooky. In fact, I think I already have some costume pieces in my bedroom. Let's go. All right, Sparkle Squad, the three main ingredients to a excellent witch's costume is the cape, the broom, and of course, the witch's hat. And luckily, I have a cape right over here. I was saving it just for this occasion. Look at how cool that looks, super spooky. And I think that Coach Rocco left a broom here last time he was tidying. Yep, just as I expected. <laughs> Not quite as witchy as I want it, but this'll definitely do. And finally, the witch's hat. Now I'm thinking that I'm gonna make it this time round with my art supplies. <sighs> You'll need some paper. It can be any color, but I chose black. Something sticky like tape or glue and something to cut with. Be careful. <laughs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to make something that looks like a triangle or a comb. Now usually I pick a comb because it's super easy to roll up. You make one end small and the other end super wide, just like this. Perfect cone, and then cut along the bottom to make it straight. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna cut out a circle, a really big circle, to be the brim of the hat. Hmm, 
I think I'm gonna cut it out of this. Ta-da! Look at me! I'm all done! My witch's costume <laughs> is complete! Coach Rocco, come over! Take a look! Whoa! Ellie the Wicked Witch of Sparkleville! And I like this broom, nice touch! Are you ready to judge some costumes? Yep, send them in! All right, send in the first costume. It's Jimmy, the spooky superhero. <gasps> it's me, super spooky Jimmy, and I'm here to save and scare the day. I bet you must be really scared now. Oh, Jimmy, you're the cutest superhero I've ever seen. Look at that cute little puppy mask. <laughs> oh, no, she thinks I'm cute. Oh, I told you that this was too cute to work. Well, she thinks you're cute in a very nervous way. She's too scared to tell you the truth. <laughs> All right, you ready to judge the second costume? Uh-huh. I introduce Casey the Ghastly Ghost. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a ghost. Casey, you're really getting good at floating around like a ghost. Spooky <laughs> and silly. I like it. Oh, thanks. Hey, that means I'm way scarier than Jimmy's costume. Oh, but I'm just not as cute. So cute. Hey, <laughs> wait a second. Is that my mask? How did you get that? Uh, I borrowed it. Oh, I should have gotten the frog mask instead. <laughs> oh, uh, Coach Rocco, don't worry. Once we're done, I'm going to roll all the toilet paper back up. <laughs> oh, thanks a bunch, because I looked everywhere. We're completely out. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, Sparkle Squad, now it's your turn. Who do you think won this competition? Huh? Is it me, Ellie Sparkles the Witch? <laughs> or is it Casey the Spooky Ghost? Ooh. Or is it Jimmy the Furry Superhero? Oh, me, 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 pick me. Oh, my costume was supposed to be way scarier, but Casey took my mask and, oh, I'm oh, going for five years in a row. Jimmy. Come on, He's come always on. got some little I'm begging you. I'm doing it, but still, it's kind of cool. Nothing in the fridge. The oven is a big strike a -rooney. Nothing in the cabinet either. What is that secret Halloween candy stash? You find anything in the cabinet cushions? Oh, come on. Where can you be, you sweet, tasty treats? Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh, boy, jackpot. Oh, you found it? Well, I didn't find the candy, but I did find my pizza from last week. Or maybe from last month. Don't know, don't care. Everything's coming up, Jimmy. Oh, that's a rose, Jimmy, even for you. Aw, no pizza, no candy. This has suddenly become like the worst day of my entire life. I don't get it. We usually find Coach Rocco's leftover Halloween stash pretty quickly. You know, he's getting better at hiding it. Yeah, and Halloween's still so far away. I wish there was some way that we could trick Coach Rocco into thinking it was Halloween today. Trick Coach Rocco into thinking it's Halloween? I think I like that idea. Wait, you actually like one of my ideas? Yep, it'll be kind of like an April Fool's joke. Quick, Jimmy, go to the garage and get us our leftover Halloween decorations. Wow, an idea you actually like. Trust me, Ellie, I won't let you down. I have a good feeling about this. Okay, Sparkle Squad, if you want to celebrate Halloween early this year, hit that thumbs up button. Let's do this. Alrighty, let's do this. Trick or treat, here we come. <laughs> Sweeping, what am I doing? I'm sweeping. How's it going? I'm just sweeping, sweeping my life away. Ah! Spooky cobwebs, scary pumpkins, ghosts, ghosts, ghosts. Ellie, Jimmy, there's a ghost in the kitchen. Hey. <laughs> A decoration! <laughs> now, why in the world is this kitchen decorated like this? 
Almost as if it's for Halloween. Halloween? No, I couldn't have missed Halloween. Check the calendar. Check the calendar, okay? October 31st, Halloween. <laughs> I did it. Halloween! Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Yeah. Three, two, one. Hey, Gina, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Oh, but I was so yeah, eager. I just got candy. I didn't buy candy for the trick or treaters. Oh, I'm gonna have to oh, prepare myself. You know oh, oh. Trick or treat. Oh, hello, the first trick or treaters of the day, Ellie and Jimmy. <laughs> well, let me guess your costume. Big hat, red scarf. Are you cowgirl, Ellie? Sure is. Howdy, coach. Me, me. Do me next. Uh, let's see. Wings, antennas, maybe. Colorful colors. Could you be a fluttering baby butterfly? What? A, a butterfly? I'm not gonna say that I'm a butterfly. The stash. Think of the stash. Yep. You got it, coach. I'm a butterfly. Do the wings. I don't wanna do the wings. Do the wings. Look at me, I'm a fluttering butterfly. Look at me fly, look at me fly. <laughs> I knew it, I'm the best at Halloween games. Well, come inside with me and I'll find you some Halloween candy. Come on. It's working. I can't believe you made me do the wings. Oh, you came for it. Unfortunately, Halloween caught me off guard this year and I couldn't even pick out a costume. And I don't even remember decorating the kitchen. Ah, that's no biggie. Just as long as you got some special treats for us very special trick-or-treaters. Yeah, yeah, and worst case scenario, if you forgot to buy Halloween candy, you can just give us a bit of your secret snack stash. Oh yes, my secret stash. Oh, I was just remembering where I had left it. Now wait right here and I'll go get it. Of course, it was here the whole time. I don't know what I was thinking. He's working. He's getting it. <laughs> Is that the bell? Oh, that must be another trick-or-treater. How exciting! <laughs> Coach, maybe you should show us where the candy is first. Nonsense, I don't want to keep them waiting. It'll just take a second and then I'll come back and give you your treats. <laughs> so close. Oh, happy Halloween. Oh, did you see where Coach Rocco was headed when he was walking to the kitchen? It looked like he was going to the oven. The candy's in the oven. No, 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 you checked the oven already, remember? It looked like he was close by to the sink cabinet. The sink, the sink, that's it, the sink. The candy is in the water pipes. I'll go get a wrench. The water pipes? No, Jimmy. Look who I found, a fellow trick-or-treater. Oh, no, I'm not a... Uh, time guy. to guess your costume. Bag, vest, hat, a uh, police officer. No, 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 a firefighter. Uh, uh, I super wish it was Halloween. No, um, I'm just the mail lady. I have a letter for Mr. Uh, Rocky Rocco. <laughs> you trick-or-treaters always in character on Halloween. I love it. And you're just in time for me to get my secret candy stash. Uh, <laughs> that is so nice of you, but I really have to get back to work. I've got so many houses left on my route. Oh yeah, this mail lady is going on her trick or treat route, right? <laughs> all right, am I missing something here? You're missing all the fun you'll have trick or treating. I'm gonna come with you. Meet me out front in two minutes. I'm gonna find a costume. <laughs> Okay, so I know this Halloween before Halloween stuff is really weird, but I have Ellie, an explanation. bad news. Turns out you were wrong. The candy isn't in the water pipes after all. Also, I broke the sink. <sighs> Jimmy, I told you it's not in the water pipes. It's in Somebody the sink cabinet. Oh my gosh, I think it's in the dishwasher. The dishwasher! The dishwasher. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go. Wow, Joe, wow, he loves putting stuff in the dishwasher. <laughs>
give up. We're never gonna find that candy stash. I think the only person having a worse night than us is the mail lady trick-or-treating with Coach Rocco. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, Rocco, that's the most fun I've ever had at work. <laughs> oh, well, there's nothing better than good old-fashioned trick-or-treating. Yeah, makes me wish it really was Halloween. It's not even summer yet. What do you mean it's not summer yet? <laughs> That's a good one, male lady. <laughs> Love that trick-or-treater sense of humor. <laughs> How can it be Halloween if I've never opened the pool for summer? Male lady, can you please show me the date? <laughs> it's what? Uh, let's get out of here. It was all Jimmy's idea. What? <sighs> See you guys. I got a sink to fix. Uh, well, they get an A for effort. <laughs> And it serves me right for keeping secret stashes. <laughs> you know, on more than one occasion, people have accused me of looking like a chipmunk. And not because of my cheeks. No, because I store things. I love to keep them secretly hidden away. Hey, Jimmy, you need any help with your tent? Oh, you're never going to believe what I'm working on in there, Ellie. Trust me, it'll be well worth the wait. Well, you better hurry up, because if Coach Rocco sees our tent, he's not going to be too happy. Oh, Ellie Sparkles, what is the meaning of all of this? It better not be an indoor campsite. Um, well, kind of. You see, it's pouring rain outside, so Jimmy and I decided we're going to take our two tents and go camping indoors. But we're going to put everything back. I promise. Well, I see one tent, but where's the other one? Voila! My work is complete. And now may I present to you the most magnificent feat of modern architecture ever known to man. I give you... Da, 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 the castle! Jimmy's castle comes fully functional with four watchtowers. Count them. One, two, three, four. A fully functional drawbridge, like so. And even a super special security system to keep out unwanted intruders. <laughs> and don't let me forget the piece de resistance. <laughs> what do you think? Jimmy, is that the box we keep the gym equipment in? That's a good box, Jimmy. And yeah, Jimmy, I thought we were gonna build our tents. You know, this castle looks like it might fall over in 10 minutes. What are you talking about? This baby is significantly structured to be impossible to knock over. I think you just might be a little jealous. Oh, hey, I'm not jealous, Jimmy. Ooh, I'm just I saying that you don't even have a castle. I'm just saying that a castle beats a tent any day. Inside. I'm just saying that a castle beats a tent any day. Look at those two. Indoor camping. I told them they could play in their little tents as long as they don't step foot outside of that room. Because <laughs> as soon as they do, it's chore time for everyone. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, you there? You called? Listen, I was just thinking this indoor camping thing isn't going to work out if we're arguing all day. So, rule number one for today is no arguing. You good with that? Hmm, yeah, I guess I can agree to a truce. But do you have any ideas about something fun we could do? I'm getting a little cramped in here. Oh, do I ever? Check this out. You brought your roller skates? Uh-huh. There's so much space to skate around here. Awesome. What about you? Oh, I've got something even better. Just wait. Okay. May I present to you Castle Basketball. Wait, a basketball hoop? <laughs> Coach Rocco is definitely going to love that. He sure will. <laughs> oh, a basketball hoop in the house? Jimmy. All right, looks like it's all done. Why don't you give it a test shot, Jimmy? I thought you'd never ask. Time for the Jimmy spin a Rooney. <laughs> Pass it over here. Give me a big thumbs up if you want to see the Emmy skating spin a Rooney. Oh. Don't worry, I'll go get it. Is Coach Rocco anywhere to be found? Nope. Nowhere in sight. Looking for something? Coach Rocco, my ball! Well, technically it's my ball. It crossed over to my side, so it's mine now. <laughs> oh, but Coach Rocco, you know that's my favorite ball. Well, you could come over and get it. Ball. Go ahead. Come no, and Jimmy, get it. No! 
<laughs> Don't! It's a trick! Coach Rafa wants you to cross the line because then it'll be chore time. Let's go. <sighs> Farewell, sweet basketball. That's what you get for playing basketball in the house. Ellie! Ellie, are you awake in there? Yeah, Jimmy, what's up? Do you have any food? I'm starving. Um, I think I have some popcorn left. Oh boy, popcorn, my favorite. Come to Papa. One piece. Oh, Ellie, don't you have anything else? Nope, I think that's all I have. What's the matter, Jimmy? Your big old castle don't have a fridge inside? Oh, very funny, Ellie, but this is serious. It was a food emergency. I have nothing left to eat, and we can't get to the kitchen because Coach Rocco's on guard. What are we gonna do? Think of something, Ellie. You're good at thinking. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I guess the only thing we can do is... Sneak to the kitchen? Brilliant. Brilliant, that's it. We'll sneak past Coach Rocco very quietly, and when he least suspects it, we'll stock up on food. You lead the way. Okay, we gotta be super quiet. Is he asleep? Oh wait, hold on one second. Okay, don't go overboard with the snacks. Shock, it came from you, Jimmy. All right, what did you spill this time? Well, whatever it was, it sounded very loud, so I'm sure it made a big mess. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, nothing? Hm, how convenient. Well, you're gonna clean it up, mister. I'll go get you a broom. Stay right here. Take this broom and sweep it up. What? You don't want to take this broom, Jimmy? Well, you're lucky to even get a broom. In my day, we didn't have brooms. We had to use our toothbrushes to brush everything up, and we only had one a household. Hello there, how's it going? Ah, oh, Coach Rocco, uh, good to see ya. Excuse me a moment. Ellie, Coach Red, Coach Red, Coach Rocco alert! Oh, hi Coach Rocco. Oh, this is about the food, uh, we can explain. Right, Jimmy? Oh, uh, yeah, about that food. Uh, the thing well, is don't I worry ate it. about the food. I come in peace. <laughs> Actually, I brought a peace offering, your uh, basketball here. <gasps> Mr. Basketball, oh, I miss you. I promise I'll never let Ellie do a spin rooney again. Coach, that's very nice of you, but uh, what's the catch here? You gave Jimmy back his basketball, but you must want something in return. Well, yes, I, I was thinking of 
Can I please join your campsite? I mean, you two are just having so much fun and I love camping and it's raining outside. So what about shore time then? Of, of course, Coach, you can join us. There's plenty of room. Oh, thank you, you won't regret it. <laughs> so does this mean shore time is over? <laughs> so, you ready for another camper, Jimmy? Oh yeah. And I brought my duster in case we run into any dust bunnies out here. <laughs> dust bunnies? Look at your busty, dusty castle. It's, it's, a good dusty. it's pretty dusty. It's supposed to be <laughs> dusty. It's old and creepy and cool. Just because we're camping doesn't mean we can't be cleaning. <laughs> and look, I can play Roblox with you guys on my flip phone. Oh, oh. I don't know about that, I don't Coach. Think that's I'm winning. I'm that's winning. a tiny <laughs> screen. No, that means I'm winning. Oh, that's a snake that game. Oh, no, wait. I think I just called my mom. Oh, okay. All right. Hang that up. Hang, hang that up. Hang that up. Ellie Sparkles, James, Cassandra, report to the bus immediately. And I mean immediately. James? Who's Cassandra? Cassandra. Casey. Ca oh, no, that's me. Oh, man. I haven't heard that name in a long time. This can't be very good. Full names means we're in big trouble. We better check it out. Coach? You called? All right, the suspects have arrived. Now, which one of you ate my pizza? Ate your pizza, huh? Yeah. Was it you, Casey? No, uh-uh, uh-uh. Or you, Ellie? Uh-oh. And last but not least, Jimmy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, don't act so surprised. I have the evidence right here. An empty pizza box. <gasps> they ate the whole pizza but left the crust? Who could commit such a heinous pizza crime? I bet it was Casey. Uh, no, I wasn't. Uh, uh, blueberry marshmallows. <laughs> OK. I didn't want to have to do this. But this is now an open investigation. I'm gonna have to question you each individually because you three are now my prime suspects. You two can go on inside and Ellie, we'll start with you. Oh, inside, can't we wait by the pool? You know, depending on how it all went down, the suspect might have left some fingerprints. Uh, but I'll ask the questions. Uh, and speaking of fingerprints, I should be checking your fingers for pizza sauce. You know, you really should be wearing gloves. Everybody knows that an investigator has to wear gloves so they don't contaminate the evidence at the scene of the crime. Again with the questions. And how do you know so much about fingerprints? Seems like you know an awful lot about Pizza crimes. Oh no, I just read a lot of books about detective mysteries. Now back to the real investigation. All right, have you swept the whole bus for clues? Have you found fingerprints, footprints, loose pizza slices? Oh, did you analyze the bite marks on the pizza crust? Mm. Uh, yes, I did that and more. Fortunately for you, I'm done questioning you for today. I'll be off to question my other two suspects. Good day. You know what, boys and girls? I think that I could do this investigation much better than Coach Rocco can. <laughs> so, if you want to help solve this pizza mystery, give me a big thumbs up. All right, let's do this. Clues, clues, clues. Well, well, well. Looks like the case has blown wide open and I've caught the pizza bandit. Red-handed. Coach Rocco, come on. Just because I'm eating pizza doesn't mean that I'm the pizza bandit. Besides, look at our pizza boxes. They're completely different, which proves that they must be from different pizza places. Okay, okay. Well, answer me this glaring question. Why is your pizza box full of crusts like the pizza in question, hmm? Oh, well, I hate to burst your bubble, Coach Rocco, but everyone knows that I save my crusts for last, and then I dip them in a little bit of peanut butter for a post-pizza dessert. 
Mmm, delicious. Okay, well, uh, I'll make a note of that in my investigative journal, and I'll uh, question you more later, unless you have any information you'd like to give me. Mm, well, as a matter of fact, I do. Have you, by chance, spoken to Casey yet? Oh, uh, well, I was on my way to question her right now. Why, is she the pizza thief? Oh, well, uh, just between you and me, off the record, of course, every pizza Friday at school, I never see Casey eating her pizza crusts, like ever. And it's clear to me that the pizza crusts are the key to solving this mystery. Oh. Well, I'll be off to question Casey, my new prime suspect. Hey, coach, when you do catch Casey, let me know if there's any reward money. Hey, Jimmy, uh, do you have a second? Ellie, I have great news. Casey is totally getting busted for this pizza investigation. All thanks to me. Coach Rocco is on his way to arrest her now. Well, I'm conducting my own independent investigation, and I was wondering if you could answer me this. Where was Coach Rocco between the hours of one and two today? Huh. Let me retrace my steps. Okay, I woke up at the crack of noon, and I did my standard routine of spin and and toothbrushes. <laughs> As she's trying to flee the scene. No, no, I wasn't trying to flee. I'm just really trying to not be here right now. Well, I can see why. Someone's already spilled the beans on everything you've done, Casey. Can you explain this? I can explain. It's not true. It's not true. I always eat my pizza crust, Coach Rocco. I promise. Well, you know, I guess if I like the flavor of it. Oh, like at Jordan's Pizza Palace. You know how they put that buttery sauce on their crust? Oh, I definitely eat that crust. Well, unless we got garlic knots with the pizza, because that's just way too much bread, and I kind of save room for dessert, you know? Dessert? How did we get here? It's about the crust, Casey, the crust. Wait a minute. This crust right here? This could not possibly be mine. This looks like it's been cut with a fork and a knife. Ugh. Who eats pizza like that? Aha! Just as I thought. Those aren't bite marks on that pizza at all. What do you mean? And what are you two doing here? Well, Coach Rocco, I have been conducting my own investigation and you have been investigating all the wrong people. I know exactly what happened to that pizza. I'm not done with my investigation yet. No need. Follow me. Oh, wait a second. Does this mean that Casey's not getting busted? Ha! Nice try, Jim Rooney. <laughs> Casey. All right, so it's just as Coach Rocco had said. It's all about the crust. So my investigation started off with me thinking, hmm, what could have made bite marks like that? It was very clean, as if somebody ate it with a fork and a knife. And who else eats pizza that weirdly but Coach Rocco? Uh, me? I'm not the pizza <sighs> bandit. That's nonsense. That's true. Why would he steal his own pizza? And that got me thinking, what if the missing pizza is still on the bus, completely untouched? <laughs> so there's still an entire pizza on the bus? Ellie, you did it, you solved the mystery. Go Ellie, Detective Ellie, go Ellie. No way. Come on, it's me we're talking about, Coach Rocco. First one to find the pizza gets to eat it. Oh, that's me. That's still no, my pizza! Pizza. Oh, oh, I found it! And it's empty. Nope, I got it. Oh, geez, how many empty pizza boxes are back here? No, I found it, and it's still warm. Coach Rocco, is this your pizza? That's it! Anchovy and extra pineapple! <laughs> Thanks to Ellie, everyone is innocent! <laughs> My bad, y'all. Hey, Ellie, maybe you got a future in investigation. <laughs> well, at least when it comes to missing food. <laughs> you know what? Detective work was actually really fun. It's like solving one big puzzle. I love puzzles. <laughs> and as an apology, I, I, I offer you all a slice of my delicious anchovy and pineapple pizza. <laughs> yeah, no thanks, Coach. I'm good. Enjoy. Bye. Are you, are you sure? Oh, we're going to order a pizza on our own. Bye. Uh, uh, all right. More for me. <laughs> Casey, 
I made it. Where are you? I made it too. I don't think so. Follow the sound of my voice. I'm right over here. Come over. Oh, you're getting closer. <laughs> I got it. I heard you. Okay, on the count of three, we'll take off our blindfolds and see what color we got. Okay. One, two, three. <gasps> I got pink and I got black. That means we can officially get started with the pink versus black challenge. Remember, we have to stick with our colors the entire day. Ooh, actually, before we get started, I'm going to ask Jimmy if I could use his bedroom. How funny would that be? <laughs> Now, Jimmy, put your shoulder into it. Look, little circles, little circles, huh? Oh, just my luck to get stuck waxing the bus on chore day. Hey, Jimmy, um, can I possibly use your bedroom for an all-you-can-be-is-pink day challenge? Use my room for an all-you-can-eat pancakes challenge? Oh, boy. Coach Rocco, we gotta clean this bus. Those pancakes aren't gonna eat themselves. There you go, big circles and little circles. Big circles, little circles. Feel free to use my room all you want, Casey. Ellie, I can't believe it, he actually said yes. Oh, I'm so excited, he said yes. No, 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 no. Oh. oh my goodness, this is Jimmy's bedroom? How does he, oh, oh there's a sock. How does he live like this? Oh man, I'm gonna have to do some real damage control in here. Oh, please tell me there's not pizza in the. Oh. Really? I could start with bedding. Seriously? Not too shabby. I think I really pull off this look. <laughs> oh, M, G, L, your room looks amazing. And you even updated your wardrobe. Wow, introducing the new and improved Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> Thanks, Casey. I think I really, really like this. Oh, by the way, I also have stuff for your challenge. <gasps> Me? <gasps> Pink accessories. This is the perfect final touch I've been looking for. <laughs> Ellie, you think of everything. Thank you. Oh, by the way, how is Jimmy's room coming along? Ugh, have you seen the original state of his room? Disgusting. But after a lot of hard work and like an entire box of pink decorations, I turned his room into a pink wonderland. It's like a pink explosion. <laughs> <laughs> my bed, it's pink. My walls are pink too. Even my soccer ball is pink. And I don't even own a soccer ball. Oh. oh, not Jimmy too. They got him too. Oh, why couldn't you leave Jimmy too alone, you pink monsters? He's just a baby. Oh, how was he ever supposed to trick Coach Rocco when he's dressed like that? Don't say anything, Jimmy. You love your new room, don't you? <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the pink trader herself, Casey, I should have known. And now you two are returning to the scene of the crime. Um, Jimmy, you gave Casey permission to turn your room pink. I heard it myself. Oh, and what do you think of Jimmy 2's new and improved outfit, huh? I think it's a much better adjustment if I do say so myself. Boop. <laughs> Anything's better than orange and blue. Have we ever heard of a matching outfit, Jimmy? First of all, Jimmy 2 was absolutely embarrassed to be seen in this monstrosity. And second of all, I never said that she could turn my room pink. I said that she could make all-you-can-eat pancakes. Pancakes? <gasps> a pink versus black food challenge. Jimmy, you're a genius. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Man. Piping hot pancakes and banana smoothie. I really got a craving for these since Jimmy was talking about them all morning. Perfect. Coach is making lunch. How should we distract him? Oh, I got an idea. Watch this. <clears throat> 
Delivery! Package for Coach Rocco! Delivery? Oh, that must be the new vacuum I ordered. I'm so excited. Hold on, I'll be right there. <laughs> Wait a second. This food doesn't match our colors at all. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Coach Rocco likes pink pancakes. <laughs> So black. Yeah. <laughs> it's so pink. <laughs> that looks so gross. <laughs> okay, we should try again later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> oh, this way, this way, this way. Some delivery guy that was. Who says delivery and doesn't even leave the package? <gasps> what happened to my pancakes? And <gasps> Jimmy, did you do something to my lunch? Why is my smoothie black? And my pancakes are Pink! Well, I'm not falling for your prank. I'm not gonna eat these. Jimmy's basketball black. Have a few laughs. Ruin his spin a rooney technique. Oh. I do anything for challenges, but I won't do that. Jimmy, now why did you dye my shirt pink? Oh, I didn't dye your shirt pink. I know exactly what's going on here. It's Ellie and Casey. They're doing that pink versus black challenge. Oh, well, I'm going to put a stop to this. Ellie, Casey, please report to the kitchen pronto. I thought it was you in this cardboard cutout playing your pranks again. What? Do you think that I would ever dress up Jimmy too like this? Does this look like a joke to you? Uh, hey guys, what's up? Oh, well, well, well. If it isn't the two pranksters themselves caught in the act, let him have it, coach. Oh, uh, yes. Now, what is this business about you two changing colors? Oh, we're doing this pink versus black challenge for our video. But if you don't like any of the changes that we made, we can always change them back. <laughs> The damage is already done. It can't be undone. This was an all-you-can-eat pancake scam. Just think of the pancakes, Coach. The pancakes! Uh, yeah. Why did you turn my pancakes pink? Well, I thought you wanted some strawberry pancakes. I mean, who doesn't like strawberry pancakes? Yeah, I would have liked one, you know. Uh, yeah, and I kind of did like the fruitiness of the pancakes. It really gave it that extra, you know, what in the morning. <laughs> Oh, and that chocolate shake it was to die for. Mwah. Oh, but what about your shirt, Coach? They ruined your shirt. But uh, it looks so good on you, Coach. And isn't it nice to own something that isn't green for once? Well, actually, I was trying to mix up the colors a little bit and try something new. I mean... Right? Yeah. I think it's a great idea. I think so, too. Pink versus black. We could do that all week. What? It's a great idea. Yeah, we can do all the other colors, too. And the neighbors, they'll wonder who we are because they won't recognize us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just won't do orange and blue, though. No, yeah, no, no, that's that terrible. All right, almost done. Perfect. <laughs> Take a little squeeze of that. Ooh. And done. Ha <laughs> ha! It's the mini phone! And I made it out of Coach's megaphone. Get it? Mega, but it's mini. <laughs> I'm a genius. Anyway, I put a shrinking concoction in there, which will turn anything into cereal bite-sized mini pieces. Do you want to see? Give me a big thumbs up if you want to see my creation in action. All right, let's do this. Three, two, one. One, show it! <gasps> Amazing! It worked! I'm totally gonna win the science fair now. I wonder what else I have I can shrink. Oh. Hey, Ellie, I... Uh, no way, Coach's megaphone! <laughs> Jackpot. <clears throat> Casey, 
Watch out, you don't know what that is. I can do a Coach Rocco impression. <laughs> <coughs> attention, class, attention! What? Here, go! Uh, Ellie? Ellie, where'd you go? Look down here. O M G, Ellie, you're tiny. Yeah, that's because you didn't use the megaphone. You used the mini phone. My experiment, it shrinks things. What? It shrinks things? I've always wanted to be shrunk. Oh, hey, let's do me next. And then we'll shrink the entire world. <laughs> Casey, I don't have a reverse mode on this yet. You're gonna have to figure out how to get me back to normal. What? Me? Ellie, science is your thing. I don't know. Okay, listen carefully. I have a ton of science notes at school that explain exactly how to reverse this. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to ask Jimmy for help. He knows where they are. Well, this is our only way to fix it before Coach Rocco finds out. Oh, come on, Ellie. Well, I guess you've always been there for me when I've needed help, so... Okay, I'm gonna go get Jimmy, get your science notes from school, and figure this all out. I got you, Ellie. Nothing to worry about. Check you later, little E. <laughs> Good luck, Casey. You got this. I hope. Well, on the bright side, at least I can explore the world as Mini Ellie. <laughs> Wait a minute. So that's what happens when you flush the toilet? <laughs> hey, Casey. I just got your message about Ellie. Boy, that's quite a pickle you two got yourselves into. Lucky for you, you've got the smartest boy in school at your assistance. May I present to you the solution to your problem, Ellie 2. Ellie 2? Wait, 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 Jimmy, is this your brilliant solution to my problem? Who in their right mind is going to believe that this cardboard cutout is actually Ellie? Come on, it looks so fake. Oh, Jimmy, we're doomed. Wow, being mini really makes you appreciate the little things. <laughs> Like, take this tiny little mouse hole. I never would have noticed this as my normal size. But look, it's so cute. And guess who lives in there? Oh, a tiny, cute little mousey. Oh, just thinking about it makes me want to go, aww. Uh-oh. I, I think he's home. And ah, he's huge! <laughs> Good morning, Jimmy, Casey, Ellie. You look different today. I can't quite put my finger on it. New hairstyle. Um, yep, that's right, Coach. You nailed it. Right, Casey? <clears throat> uh, yes, 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 your new haircut. See, Ellie, everybody loves your new haircut. And you didn't think it was going to work. Oh, yeah, and I love the face framing layers. So chic. You know, I used to work at a beauty salon. Yeah, sweeping up the hair. Ah, good memories. Anyway, uh, uh, let's get to school, right? <laughs> sweeping the hair. So Holy good. moly, that was close. See, I told you, these cardboard cutouts work every single time. I've used Jimmy too to get out of math class like at least 35 times at this point. Whew. You know, I gotta give it to you, Jimmy. I never thought I'd say this, but your plan actually worked. <laughs> Let's see if Ellie 2 is up for the challenge. Jimmy 2, you can have a day off today. Bye. Now, the reason some liquids mix and some liquids don't is something called density. Huh? Isn't that interesting? You know, once or twice in my life, I've been called a little dense. Maybe that's why I don't mix with water. <laughs> All right, now who can tell me if oil and water mix? Ellie, I know you'll know this one. What do you think? Um, just a second, Coach Rocco. Casey. Do you have any idea what Coach Rocco is talking about? No, literally no idea at all. What is Den City? It's like a British soccer team, not anything science-y. We gotta say something quick or Coach Rocco's gonna bust us. <gasps> oh, oh, I have Ellie's notebook. She's gotta have the answer in here, right? Go ahead, Ellie. What do you think? Oh, 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 it says right here, oil and water do not mix. Okay. Um, I have the answer, Coach Rocco. 
Oil and water do not mix. Final answer. That is correct. Ding, 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 ding. You must have taken great notes. I knew you'd know the answer. You're my little scientist. All right, now for the next lesson. Phew. That was a close one. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, now that we have Ellie's notebook, we totally figure out how to reverse the shrink ray at lunchtime. Oh, sweet. Let's do it. Yeah, wait, let's see. Uh-oh. Casey, check the bottom of your shoes. I think we might have stepped on Ellie. Oh! No, I'm over here! Oh. Phew! Boy, I'm glad we are not too late. But Ellie, guess what? With the help of your science notes, we figured out how to reverse the shrink mode. Awesome! I knew you two could do it! It's been fun and all being small, but I think I'm ready to be big again. Zap no, me. wait, hold on. Before you do that, I'm just gonna step back here in case, uh, you know. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm finally big again! Thank goodness! Oh, my science kit looks so small! Oh, And I can jump on the window ledge again! Oh, thanks, you guys! You don't know how great this feels! Oh, Ellie! I'm so, so happy you're back! I was really scared you were going to be little forever, but you have to tell me all about your many adventures. <laughs> wait, wait, before she does that, now that we know that the reverse shrinker works, imagine all the things we can make big. We can make a giant box of cereal, or a giant pizza, or a giant pizza flavored cereal. Yeah, that's it. We'll call it Jimmy-O's. Uh, wait, what? I don't know about that, Jimmy. I think it's time to retire my experiment. How about we team up for some video games? Ooh, video games. Wait, with her? Him? No way. But you know, I can tell you all about my mini adventures. There's so much that happened. I mean, I- Oh, trash. Stay out of my life. Don't ever come back. Ugh, don't sing that one. There's my megaphone. I've been looking all over for you. Hope those kids haven't messed with you too much. Let's see. Ready? It's my birthday! Birthday, birthday, birthday! Birthday, birthday, birthday! I'm so excited for today because it is my birthday! And nothing can ruin this day. Not even Coach Rocco and Jimmy eating my birthday cake for the past three years. Guys! But like I said, nothing will ruin it today because positive vibes all day. Right, Sparkle Squad? Yay! If you want to celebrate my birthday with me, hit that Ooh. thumbs up button. <laughs> it's Ellie's birthday, her b -b -b birthday. And we're throwing her a super awesome surprise party this year. Coach Rocco, shake a leg, will ya? Oh, oh, thanks a lot, Jimmy. You get to carry the little box while I have to carry all the heavy one. Hey, but this box has the cake, which is the most important part. And the most yummiest part. Oh, no, no, we are not gonna eat this cake, Jimmy. We've eaten three cakes in the past three years and we both decided we are gonna make this Ellie's best birthday ever, remember? All right, fine. But on my birthday, I want cake first. Then all that party mumbo jumbo later. So drop out, Jimmy! Quick, hide everything! Where She's coming! <laughs> Tuesday, yep, happy Tuesday, like I always say every Tuesday. <laughs> the best day of the week because that's the day when we, well, Tuesday is cleaning day. <laughs> and thank goodness I have my trusty duster here. <laughs> so, what's with the party hat? 
coat. Oh, the, the party hat, yes. No, this is my cleaning hat. Because when I clean, it's a party, believe me. <laughs> what should we clean next, Jimmy? Oh, whatever you want, coach, as long as I get to do some vacuuming. Oh, ooh, fun. Come on, let's go. <laughs> well, have fun, you guys. <laughs> Cleaning hat? You think I would fall for that? It's so nice! Jimmy and Coach Rocco are planning my surprise party! Wait a second. Jimmy and Coach Rocco are planning my surprise party? Oh, I don't know about this one. Hello? Anyone in here? All right, coast is clear. Let's get started. So just to be clear, that whole cleaning thing was just a joke to trick Ellie, right? Because I am definitely not cool with cleaning today, especially not vacuuming. This is gonna be the surprise party room. We gotta decorate this whole place. And wait till you see what I got. The best game in the world. Oh boy. It's called the Coach Rocco Wheel of Chores game. You spin the wheel. And whatever chore it lands on, you get to do. Lucky it landed on dust the walls because I got my nifty little duster here. <laughs> Coach Rocco, I have been to a lot of birthday parties in my day and I can safely say that this is the worst party game I have ever seen. Fold the laundry, clean the toilet. What kind of party game is this? I think we better just focus on decorating. Oh, okay, party pooper, but I'm telling you, this is gonna be every kid's favorite game. It's gonna be the next Roblox. You'll see. Sure thing, Coach Rocco. Rocco! Jimmy? How's the cleaning coming along? Oh, yikes! What is going on here? <laughs> oh, no! Well, decorating isn't their strong suit. Wait a second. Aren't you supposed to blow up the balloons before you hang them up? <laughs> I guess I could help them out some. Let's see here. <laughs> party decorations, check. Party games, check. Now the only thing left is preparing the birthday cake. Oh yeah, the birthday cake. What happened to that thing? Oh yeah, I threw it over there. Oh gee, I hope it survived the crash. Let's see. Ooh. It definitely survived the crash. It looks good. It looks really good. Now, now, Jimmy, we promised Ella we wouldn't eat her birthday cake three years in a row, remember? Of course, we could just look at it. There's no harm in that. Yeah, yeah, and what, what about if we had like an eeny weeny little piece just as like a taste test? That'd be fine, right? As long as it's a eeny weeny little oh, taste. The eeniest weeniest piece, Coach. Mm. That's really good. Mm. It's very yeah, good. maybe another eeny weeny little taste. I think so. Just for quality tests. Oh yes. Oh yes. Mm. Oh, yeah. mm. Eating good, all yeah. this birthday cake gets me in a festive mood. Mm. What do you say that we work on the birthday song that I've been working on for Ellie? Yeah, all right. Here's what I got. Birthday, 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 birthday. That's all I got. Um, how about birthday, 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 birthday. This is the birthday cake song. Ooh, I like it. Let's sing as we eat. Birthday, 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 birthday. Oh no! We ain't having cake again. Oh, well, we left one piece for her. Do you have a birthday candle? Good as new. Mm, perfect. 
What do you say we get to the party room and start getting ready for Ellie's big reveal? Yeah, but let's take a nap on the way there. I'm a little bit tired after eating all that cake. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> smells good in here. Almost like my birthday cake. Oh, Jimmy, Coach Rocco. Well, I guess they meant well, but my birthday cake is ruined. I'm in a baking mood though, so it's no big deal. Let's make a new cake. Hey, this room looks different and way better. Did you put up more decorations? Oh, I don't remember blowing up all these balloons. I don't know what happened here. Then that leaves only one explanation. It's a birthday miracle. I'll call the birthday girl. Oh, Ellie, could you meet us in the game room, please? It's chore time. Chore time. <laughs> I totally thought you forgot. <laughs> See, I told you, she didn't suspect a thing. We got her good. <laughs> wow, look at this party room. Must have taken forever to set up, huh? Yep, but luckily, Coach Rocco and I just happen to be expert party planners. Oh, let's get to the party games. Here's my favorite. <laughs> oh no, not this one. Now, now, let me explain. This is the Coach Rocco spin the wheel for the chores game. You spin the wheel, whatever chore it lands on, you have to do. But here's a twist. You get to pick who does the chore. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Okay, one, two, three, spin! Good one, polish the forks. And I'm gonna pick Jimmy for this one. Oh, come on. <laughs> you heard the birthday girl. On your marks, get set, go! Jimmy, 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 Jimmy! <laughs> Let's see how many forks you did. Uh, three forks. Mm, well done. <laughs> All right, now it's my turn. <laughs> no, 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 no. How about we move on to the other party activities? You know, anything but this. All right, what about a birthday cake? Mm, well, technically, yes, there is a birthday cake. It's right here. But um, we ran into some issues with it. Just a teeny issue, but I guarantee you that cake is delicious. Well, I don't know what kind of issues there could be with a cake. I'm sure it's Well, fine. it was all Jimmy's fault. He was a heat. Touching, 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 tou
the time he gets off hold, it could already be too late. We don't have time for this. We need to take matters into our own hands. Yeah, honestly, Jimmy's actually right for once. From what I'm reading, Snuffleupagus is really contagious. Yeah, I don't know about that, you guys. I just think that we should get get. There's no time to lose. Let's get you to quarantine. Wait, what? That's quarantine? <laughs> Okay, you guys do that. I'm gonna look up some remedies. I think I'm gonna need some more computers. Oh, man. <sighs> the school bus. Of all the places to be quarantined, Jimmy picks a school bus? Now that is too much, even for Jimmy. I just have to say a little rash. It'll be fixed in no time. <laughs> stand clear, stand clear, stand clear. This bus needs to be sterilized. <laughs> Sterile. Jimmy, what are you wearing? Isn't that your Halloween costume from last year? Astronaut? <laughs> For your information, Ellie, this is a hazmat suit. It's my job to make sure that your condition doesn't spread anywhere else, especially not to me. My condition? Jimmy, I know you're just trying to help, but this is just a silly old poison ivy rash. I'll just put some lotion on it and it'll be totally fine. <laughs> Ellie, please put that arm back in the safe zone. We have to make sure that that arm doesn't touch anything else or else the contamination might spread. Oh, here, cover this arm in bubble wrap. Wait, my good arm? But shouldn't we be wrapping up my bad arm? Duh, it's already too late for that arm. That's why we gotta keep that one safe. In fact, we gotta keep this entire bus safe. Ugh, I'm gonna need more bubble wrap. I'll be right back. Do not leave this spot. <gasps> Sterilized. Sterilized. <laughs> Sterilized. Sterilized. <laughs> Sterilized. Okay, Jimmy is driving me crazy. I'm gonna go give Casey a call. <gasps> it's Ellie. Hey, Sparkles, what's up? Glad to hear you're still alive. <laughs> yep, I feel perfectly fine. What are you up to? Uh, 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 no coming off the bus until you drink this super awesome seafood herbal smoothie I'm making you. <laughs> According to some herbologists online, if you drink this smoothie, it'll clear your saponophonitis <clears throat> right up. <laughs> Seafood herbal smoothie, what's that? So it starts with three hot chili peppers. Mm. Um, got this stringy green thingy. Yeah. Uh, oh, lots and lots of kale. <laughs> Ooh, kinda missed there a little bit. Ah, ooh, there we go. Uh, whatever this thingy is. An entire jar of tomato sauce and the finishing touch, anchovies. <laughs> oh, hang on, Ellie. Hey, coach, any luck with the nurse? No, I'm still on hold. Can you believe it? He hello? Hello? Uh, my name. My, I just gave my name to the last person. I've been on hold for 45 minutes. It's Rocky Rocco. Yes, uh, Rocky with an R. Yikes. All right, Sparkles, hang tight. I'm just gonna add these anchovies to the smoothie and grab a couple more ingredients to fill up your whole six glasses of this. I'll be right out, all right? See you soon. Six cups of seafood herbal smoothie? That's it. I gotta take this into my own hands. I gotta go inside, get some poison ivy lotion, and fix this all by myself. Hm. Ellie, Ellie, I got the bubble wrap. Let's get wrapping. Ellie? Ellie? Oh no, Code Red, Ellie Sparkles has left the safe zone. Hide your children. Oh, sterilize, sterilize, sterilize. Ellie! Sterilize. <laughs>
I have been waiting all day just to make an appointment. What do you mean press one for English? <sighs> Hello? He oh no, did I hang up? Did I hang <laughs> up? Hello? Hello? Ah, my best friend Ellie Sparkles, just who I was looking for. Got your seafood herbal shake all ready to go. But make sure in between each sips to chew these leaves. Apparently the herbologist said it enhances the power of the smoothie. <laughs> no! Don't drink that! You're gonna contaminate the entire kitchen! You need to get back to the bus! Oh great, now I gotta bubble wrap this room too. Casey, let's start with you. Enough, you two, enough! I don't need an herbal shake and I don't need to be bubble wrapped. I just need this poison ivy lotion. See, I rubbed it on the rash and it's already looking so much better. Oh, it must be all thanks to that bubble wrap that I put on your other arm. Oh, and the sanitizer that I've been spraying everywhere. You're welcome, everyone. Crisis averted. Uh, no, 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 it could have very easily have been the shake I made. I mean, she didn't drink it, but she sure did smell it. That definitely could have helped, right? Ellie, Ellie. Good news, I just got off the phone with the doctor. He says you probably just have poison ivy. So just put some lotion on, it'll go away. <laughs> yeah, one step ahead of you, coach. I already put some lotion on it, and it's already looking so, so much better. <laughs> Wait a second, does this mean that we can finally film that escape room challenge video? <laughs> let's go, let's do this, finally! Uh, uh. Oh, smoothie. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Mm. Hot, hot, oh, oh, spicy, spicy. Hello, 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 doctor. No, no, I will not hold. I will not hold. I drink something really hot. What do I do? It's spicy. It's burning. Hello, hello. What's up, Sparkle Squad? Today is the best day of the year. We're going on a field trip to the amusement park. <laughs> come on, Coach Rocco. We're all ready to go. Yeah, come on, Coach. Those roller coasters aren't going to ride themselves. All right, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Chillax. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What do you guys think we should ride first? The Mega Monster Roller Coaster or the Tilt-A-Whirl of Terror? Please, Jimmy. You were too scared to go on both those rides last year, remember? <laughs> Even the kitty carts. You were like, oh no, I can't go on that. I'm too scared of Rudy. <laughs> well, I had a stomach ache, obviously. Yeah, yeah. All right, you three, you ready for the best ride of them all? The school bus ride. It's gonna be totally fire. That's what the cool kids say nowadays, right? Oh. Three, two, one, blast off! Huh? That doesn't sound good. Everything okay up there, coach? Don't you worry, I took six years of school bus repair, so I'll have this up in no time. Or was that six days? All right, everybody off the bus while I figure this one out. Oh. This is totally not fire. What seems to be the problem, Coach? Well, it's just as I expected. The engine is overheating. But not to worry, I'll have it running within the hour. Within the hour? Oh, great. This ruins our whole schedule. Now we're gonna have to cut the rides. Uh, let's see, uh, should we cut Ferris wheel? Or my personal favorite, the teacups. Cut the teacups. Ah. So is the teacups. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we gotta make use of this time somehow. Casey, you wanna find something to do? Actually, I might hang out and help Coach Rocco a bit. Okay. All right, so nothing ruins a trip faster than a faulty carburetor. Move over, Coach Rocco. Let me take a look. Oh, no, 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 no. I know what I'm doing, Casey. You'll have this thing in bits. Now, I was just about to check that carbonara or whatever you're talking about, so, uh, don't panic, I have this under control. I know what I'm doing. Coach Rocco, <laughs> remember. Okay, I'm just saying, I can help. Um, Coach Rocco, what, what are you doing? Uh, no, 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 Coach Rocco, I wouldn't do that if I were you, no, no, no. Ah! Oh! On second thought, you do got this under control. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go hang out with Ali, and you stay here and have fun with your, uh, your carbonara. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's beautiful out here, huh? Oh, what's this doing here? A trash bag. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe it's a raccoon that got into this trash bag. 
I know they do love breaking into garbage after all. I bet there's a guilty raccoon out here somewhere. I hope it's not too close. Raccoons can be pretty vicious. Where are you, raccoon? Wait, I think I see it. No, it's right over. Yep. Oh, there. Wait a second. Hold on, that's not a raccoon. That's a... Yikes! Looks like Ellie's not handling the delay too well. That's a shame. Now me, on the other hand, I've decided to use my free time to have an early lunch. That's right, welcome to Chef Jimmy's School Bus Kitchen. Let's see what's on the menu for today. Now, I don't exactly know what all these ingredients are gonna make, but eh, we'll improv, we'll figure it out. Okay, well we got a tortilla, so I guess we're making burritos. Yeah, a school bus burrito. And you know what goes great with burritos? Bananas! Ingredient number one, complete. Ooh, bananas and peanut butter. That's a good combo. Big ol' scoop. Ah, looking good already. Oh, ketchup. Burrito's gotta be a little tomato-y. Looking good, looking good. Ooh, I love this stuff. I've started putting it on all my sandwiches. Only makes sense that it'd be good on burritos, too. Marshmallow Whip! Yeah, I want a big spoonful. Mmm, Jimmy, you still got it. And last but not least, spicy peppers for that finishing touch. Ooh, this looks even better than I thought it would. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. On second thought, I think maybe I'll take this out to Coach Rocco. He could use a little lunch if he's gonna finish the bus in time. Ah, Jimmy, not only are you a great chef, you're a great pal too. Hey, Coach Rocco! What is it, Bussy? Are you mad at me? I change your oils, I clean your tires. What else can I do? Delivery! Special lunch delivery for my favorite mechanic. Oh, Jimmy, you brought me lunch! Just what I needed. Now the bus is a little worse off than I expected, so you better tell the girls it's gonna take longer. Oh, all right, I'll tell them. Oh, we're gonna have to cut more rides. Oh, and thanks for the lunch. You're a, you're a good kid, Jimmy. Let's see, this looks good. Oh, I'll save it for later. <laughs> yes, tasty. Oh, I, I dropped it, all right. All right, Bussy. Whoa, Ellie, you must have been really scared. Hey, wait, was he eating honey? Honey? I don't know, maybe he was eating honey. I don't remember, but that's beside the point. The point is, I saw a real life bear back there. That's so cool. You know, I've always wondered if bears ate honey in real life or if it was just in the fairy tales, but guess not. <laughs> Bad news, you two. Coach Rocco says it's gonna take another hour to fix the bus. What, another hour? What are we supposed to do for that long? It's okay, you guys. We'll just find something in our book bags to keep us occupied. Well, I already ate everything in my book bag, so I don't really have anything to contribute here. What do you two got? Let's see, what do we have here? <gasps> here, I have this ukulele, and we can play some songs, and Jimmy, you can be the singer. <gasps> oh, my sketch pad! Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Come on, yes, my markers! <laughs> hey, do you guys remember when we learned how to do caricatures in art class? We could totally draw each other. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. Oh, Casey, you can start drawing me first. <gasps> okay.
city was totally awesome. Yeah! That's it. That's the take. Great job, session musicians. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I was really sad that our field trip got kind of messed up, but I've had more fun today than I've had in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Just goes to show that no matter where you are or what you have, you can always have fun with your friends. Good news, you three. Everything's in working order. And we still got time for those amusement park <laughs> rides. <laughs> Woohoo! Hey, coach, check it out. It's me Ooh. as a cartoon. All right, can you say roller coasters? Roller coasters! And away we go! Huh? That's odd. Uh-oh. Well, at least we can still see what's in our book bags to pass the time. <laughs> All right, not to worry. I'll just watch a quick YouTube video on how to fix a school bus. And it could be tricky because they're always asking me to give a thumbs up. And I give the thumbs up, but they keep asking. <laughs>